smashes it. Hey everybody, Robot Grim here, and we are playing episode 6. I can't believe it's episode 6 already, that's crazy. Of Ark Survival Evolved gameplay. And here we are, back at the house. We've got Donna and Izzy here and Vanessa. All the ladies. Hi, ladies. And of course, we've got our um, Burt Berry Bottom, and our Dillos, and our um, dodos laying their juicy little eggs, but today I think we're gonna focus away from the dinosaurs just to s for a little bit, and um, we need to upgrade our our housing, and we need to upgrade our storage, and we need to um, possibly plant a small farm, which we might do real quick first, just to just to do that part of the game. I don't really plan on doing too much with farming. <laughs> Um, because I don't really think I'm going to be needing that many berries um, that um, Izzy can easily collect. Um, so, we're going to start with that, and we're just going to kind of do a little bit of building today. Um, we need to get that out of the way right off the bat, so before it gets too late in the game, we want to make sure we have enough room for everything. So that's our goal. Um, so first thing we're going to do, um, I did pick up, some farming stuff off one of the um, supply crate drops and um, what we're gonna do let's see what we have we have a intake pipe we have the tap and we have um, the straight and the vertical so what we're gonna do is find a nice little flat piece of land uh, by the water I don't have very many pipes so I think I'm gonna build it right near the water and let's see, what would a good spot be just to, to throw this out there? How about right here? This is like right on the water. It's nice and flat. And uh, it won't be in the way of anything. So let's do that. So first thing we're going to do is place our intake. I just want to check it out and see um, if that's going to work. Because I don't think I can take these apart after I'm done. I just want to make sure it looks okay, which it does. I'm guessing that's how it's going to be. So we're going to set that right there. And it's blue. That means there's water. Okay, so what I want to do now is put in a vertical here. And it's blue, which is good. And I want to put in a horizontal here. Beautiful. And I'm going to take my tap, and I'm going to put it right on the end. Like so. And look at that. We've got water coming out. Gorgeous. Okay, now, what I have to make sure is I can place these plots on the ground here. Because if I can't, then I'm in trouble. Alright, so let's see. I need to place them right underneath the water. Make sure they're nice and watered. Oop, well, I clicked that by accident. But I think it's good. Water is at 200. Okay, nice. So we're going to place the other one right next to it. And these are the small plots. You can get um, bigger ones eventually. That's not centered, but whatever. As long as they're... um water that's all I care about really there it is it's watered okay so you can you can design this however you want to um to lay it out I like having it up in the air over that because I think it looks neat with the water trickling down but um, the next thing you need you can see that there's not seeded and not fertilized so you just have to go into it and you have to place a seed where are my seeds well we can put a piece of fertilizer in there first I don't have any seeds on me, apparently. I thought I grabbed them. Alright, so... You make the fertilizer. I have a little compost bin going over here. And um, what you do is you take some thatch, like that. And you put in some 
any feces at all, dinosaur feces, like this big one right here, it doesn't matter which size or shape, usually they're circular, and the good thing about these dodos is they poop all the time, oops, don't want that, I want your poop, and I'll take your eggs too in this one here, more eggs, I can't believe it, you got any more room on you for eggs, Bert, yes you do, okay, Alright, so you take poop like that. Usually I think it's like three you need. Three turds and 50 thatch will make a fertilizer pile, I'm pretty sure. And um, so we leave that in there and over time it will um, turn into a fertilizer pile. Okay, so we're going to take um, these narcoberry seeds. And usually... Narcoberry and medjo berries are the only ones that I use on a on a constant um, basis. So um, I really just need one of these. How do I just take one? Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, it only places one. Got it. Okay. All right. So it says seeded, fertilized, and you can see right away we get a little seedling. Look at that. It's already growing. Beautiful. Okay, I lagged out there for a second. Alright, so you can see the seed is gone now. Um, but as it uh, grows, the um, berries will appear in these spots here. And you'll see the um, the change in the plant shape over time. So, that's, that's the basics of farming. You can um, have as many plots as you want, as many plants as you want. Different sizes and, you know, shapes. But that was just a quick quick to do for that. Now we're going to come over to our, our house. And I've already pre-made a whole slew of goodies to, um, let's clear out some space in here. Move the wood over. Uh, we want to get the seeds out of here and the fiber. Let's see, we got to put them all where they go. Oop, there's something on the ground there that makes me move funny. It's weird. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're going to... That's not where the fiber goes. What is going on here? Fiber in here. Okay, there we go. And... Um, throw some thatch in there. Stone. Okay, that's good. So my plan is... Let's see, let's just get some more foundations on me. We'll take six there. We'll put some walls on me here. Uh, I didn't make any doorways. But I don't know if I'm going to need any. So my, my plan is, I just want to make a whole other row um, along this side here. And what I want to do with that extra row is open up that whole side wall. And I'm going to put the storage racks down the center. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started and just start placing these down here. So we're just going to make a whole new row. Like that. And then we're going to have to destroy this whole side. Oops. Let's see. There we go. And we're also probably going to have to destroy a lot of the storage we have in there already. But that's fine because we need to get rid of those um small chests. There we go. A couple more. More. Uh-oh. I am encumbered. What do I have? Probably from the all the wood that it's dropping. No problem. Let's just load that over. Okay. So, now what we have to do is extend these walls over. Like this. And that. And this one. And that one. <laughs> and I'll have to get some more. Let's see. I have seven more. Is that going to be enough to finish my plan? It better be, or else. Okay. Perfect. Looks good. And now I need some roof pieces, which I have seven of. I only need th four. Four, right? There. There, there, and that fills it right over, no problems. 
Let's see how that looks from outside real quick. Let's get over here. Eh, it looks almost identical to the other one. Ooh, I can uh, continue my front porch around here. Very nice. Very nice. I could make it go all the way around probably, but that's good for now. Okay. Let's see here. We have... We'll get that ramp down there. Don't need any more walls. Don't need any more ceilings. I have a bunch of large storage boxes. That's going to be um, the next move to do that. So let's close that again. And um, what I want to do is... I'm going to have to move this door. Move that door. I need that wall back. Where are you, wall? Wall. There we go. Got the wall. Beautiful. Fill that back in. Oh, no. It placed backwards. Oh, boy. Why did it do that? I only have one wall left. Let's see. If you hit the E key, it flips it. Is that the right way? It's so hard to tell. Hmm, that's sticking out just a little bit weird. See how these are all, like, snugged together? That's a little off. Oh well, I'm not really concerned about that. And I want to put... Oh yeah, the compost bin is there. <laughs> I forgot about the compost bin. Alright, so let's demolish this wall. Holy moly. And we're going to put another floor here. Okay, so we'll have our door here and over here. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to have to do is become extremely organized with, our, with what we're doing. Okay, so where are those giant large storage boxes? Great! Okay, so what I wanted to do was put, like, side by side... Oh, this fireplace is in the way. Not fireplace, I did it again. Oops, put you out. Save that and that. Oh, it's loaded again. Too much wood. Can never have too much wood. Okay, so what I want to do is first get rid of this. Demolish. You're in the way. You're going to be in the way too, but I need to put these down first. So I wanted to do like one... Kind of like make it so they could be side by side. Like that. And the other one... I'm not going to be able to place yet, because that's in the way. And the next one is going to be... Here, a little bit back. Perfect. Are those even? Good enough. So what I'm going to do is access them from the side. Kind of. So what I need to do is take all of this and then put it all in here. Drop it in. Let's see. Trying to learn the um, the keys. If you if you arrow over something and hit T, it transfers it automatically. Very helpful. Um, okay. Oh, it's getting dark in here. Ah, there's no wood on this fire. We have wood here. We have wood here. Okay. And drop it in like that. There we go. We'll build by campfire. Okay, so this is going to be demolished. Crash. Okay, so... Put another one... Here. Look at that, we're already moving right along here. So what I wanted to do is pretty much, this is going to come out six on each side. So we'll have twelve total boxes. And I did make 12, so hopefully um, I don't have to mess up any. That, oh, that one's a little bit further out. Uh, I'm not going to be too picky about it, I guess. Okay, let's take all that. Destroy this one. 
Boom. And take all that. Oops, I'm going. I'm in the wrong button. Okay, that was close. All right, and demolish this guy. Okay. I'm encumbered. up nice with the one behind it. There we go. If you bring it through the one there, you can kind of line up the wood in the middle. The middle there. Like that. I think I'm kind of coming off at an angle. Okay. How many are we at here? eight so far, so we need two more on each side. There we go. There we go. And last one coming up. Right. I was running into this box. Okay, reminds me of a library. All right, so now we have this down the center. And what we'll have over here is probably um, maybe the bed can like chill out right here once I get once I build a bed. And I'm gonna probably have to move the, well, no, that's okay there. That's, that's narrow enough to have that there. So when, what I wanted to do was kind of either make signs or color code these somehow so I can remember what's in each one. Like, maybe I'll do, like, um, inorganic on this side, organic on this side. However, I can figure stuff out, or, you know. We'll just have to play it by ear and see what see what happens. Oh, I am super overweight now. Oh, I'm not close enough to get to that one. Okay, let's see. What can I put back over? Oh, uh, it's heavy. That's kind of heavy. Okay. Good, good. So let's just transfer a whole bunch of stuff over for now. Just to empty it out, then we'll organize it in the aftermath of our construction prog process here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that can go. Seeds, flint, glasses. Okay. So this is going to get destroyed. Ooh, there's still stuff in there. Oh, done. Yeah, because I, I just put it all back in there. Okay. And what do we have in here? More building stuff. Okay, so I'm going to load this all back in. Beautiful. Going good here. And we're going to take all this. Oh, I'm encumbered again. Everything's so heavy. Get over there slowly. Okay. Transfer those. Some eggs. All right. Perfect. And demolish. Okay. Look at all this extra space we have now. Over here and here. And let's see. So I wanted to also place... Um, I made up some new things. They are right here. They are preserving bins. And that's going to help take the load off a of bird outside. And I want to put these right in this corner, I think. They're kind of like little mini fridges. And all they need to run is some spark powder, which I have... Did I put them back over here? Where did I put all the stuff? Here they are. So I already made up some spark powder spark powder you make on the mortar and pestle. Um, it takes two flint and one stone to make one. And then you just grind away and it's it's all good. So we'll just to get this loaded up. Put some in there. And you can see that it's working because there is a little bit of um, steaminess coming off the top. Okay, so what we can do is take um, like the meat off of Vanessa. Hey Vanessa take a whole bunch of meat off of you and we can take um, a whole bunch of 
Oops. Who am I whistling? No, you're not whistling. We can take some of the berries off of you. And um, these eggs, too, we could probably take. How much do the, these eggs weigh? 213. We're going to have to make a couple trips for that. All right, so we can put the meat in one side. And we want to do stacks of 20. And you can see it takes quite a while um, for that uh, to um, spoil. So that's definitely going to be helpful for keeping stuff um, off the dinos, just in case something happens out there. We won't lose all of our delicious meat. We're already getting spoiled meat. There must have been some really low timers. So we got like an hour and 15 there. Where's the one that's spoiled? Hour 39. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's a long time for those. Okay, and we'll put the berries in the other one. So yeah, we're upgrading here, everybody. Moving up in the, the island world. Now don't ask me how these things run off of spark powder. I couldn't tell you that, but uh, it works, so that's good. So we're getting about the same timers on the berries. Hour and a half, so once those spoil and reset, they'll be fine. So, and we're gonna keep some, some eggs in there too. Coming back, Bert. Okay, so I need... Can I take all of them? Let's see. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm way over. Uh, let's take half. Okay, that's that's just enough. I'm just dragging in here. We'll make it. And the... Um, put those right in here. 78 days. Okay, so that's not bad at all. What were they before? What are they on you? 31 days. So yeah, the fridge is definitely a better idea for length of spoilage. And I'm sure Bert is much appreciative of that. Okay, great. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, so that's it for the fridges. Let me just um, craft up a few more extra pieces for this house, and I'll be right back, everybody. And we're back, everybody. And what I've got here is a couple more pieces for the house. So I'm going to place a little wall in here. And I think that's the right way. It's so hard to tell on these walls, but you just got to you just gotta go for it. And I will place the door here. Get the, the door frame and the door. And I made a bed so we can get the bed in there next. Door in. Okay, so coming in the back door. Scooting down here. You can go out the front over here. I like it. Okay, so I think the bed is going to be tucked away back in this corner. It's kind of nice and out of the way. And we can still get... We can walk right on it, so it's not like we can't get to these um, with any difficulty. Okay. And is that... Oh, I made, oh, I made some... Um, I made some windows. And I want to put a couple windows up in here make it look all nice and snazzy so we're gonna hmm should I put it I'm gonna put one up here I think and I want to put the other one here yeah I think so that sounds good that look at that we can see the tree outside and we'll place the other one here. Beautiful. How does that look from out here? Oh my goodness, our first little windows. I like it a lot. Okay, it's looking good. I'm just having a great time upgrading this house here. Feels good to um, make some improvements like that. Okay, so we got our fridges, our door, our walls. And let's see, what I next want to do... Um, is I have a feeding trough that I need to make and I have a cooking pot that I need to make and um, what the feeding trough does is you place it outside by all your dinosaurs and you drop a whole bunch of meat and berries in there and it kind of allows everyone within a certain distance to eat out of it 
and uh, so you don't have to keep food on your on your dinosaurs. You just need to keep it all inside this trough. And the, um, the cooking pot allows you to make recipes, um, and also like dyes and paints and things like that. So I think that'll be my next thing that I need to make. So I will be right back once I get that stuff all together. So I'll be right back, everybody. I'll be back, everyone. I noticed there was a uh, green supply crate across the river from home. So I decided to take Izzy out and check it out. So we're heading up there. And I'm also on Izzy to um, collect berries because I wanted to make some dyes up to see um, how that whole thing worked. I have a, um, a cooking stove or cooking pot and uh, it allows me to make dyes so I needed to get some a whole bunch of different berries together to do that. But I figured while I'm doing that I can uh, have a little stroll up here and see what's in the supply crate. And hopefully we don't run into anybody. We don't want to be around. Oh, and Izzy's getting full already. So stay right there. We're gonna head up there. Check it out. Oop. Ran right into a rock wall. <clears throat> Where is it? Here we are. Oh, there's a compie. Oh, man. There's lots of compies. Um, where's my defender? I could probably just kill him. But... Izzy likes to do that, too. Follow me, lady. Where'd they go? Oh, oh my spear broke. Oh. Better look out, everybody. My, um, bodyguard's here. There's a lot of them. She just smashes them. Ooh. Okay, take them out. I'll get the stuff here. Oh, more supplies. Okay. Nice. Just what I wanted. Okay, let's go back to Izzy here. <clears throat> Alright, ready to go? I am going to head back home. Oh, we are... S we can't even move. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. But um, once I do that, I'll head home and we'll make up some dyes and check those out. Okay, be right back, everybody. Okay, everybody, we're back. And I just got all the supplies necessary to do some dyeing. Not dyeing like, ugh, I'm dead, but using <laughs> paints and um, clothing dye. So what you need first is a cooking pot such as this. And then you must light it like that. And then you must put in um, the appropriate um, berries and charcoal. And you're also need, going to need to put water in there. So once it's lit, you have um, all these ingredients. You will get um, a little dye pouch paper thing right here, yes. Um, so we can put out the fire. And then I'm going to take my water back because I only have the one. And... Uh, take these berries back off. This stuff I'll leave. And um, so I've already made a whole bunch and I've been playing around with it just to see um, how to use it. You can either use it on a paintbrush like this. You just drag it right over it and it dyes the paintbrush the color. And then you can use the paintbrush to paint um, anything really. You can paint your buildings. You can paint your dinosaurs different colors. Um, and you can also, if you were just to take this and drag it over to say like a piece of your armor, like this, you can color um, your armor in, which I've actually been messing around with and I've already done that. Um, so, it takes a little bit of dye to do each one, but eventually if you, um, say you wanted to have an all black outfit, black leather, pretty styling, then uh, you could uh, do that and get an outfit like this. Ooh, my leg's up. <laughs> pretty cool. 
pretty dark. I like it. It good, looks good on Robot Grim since he is grim. And as you can see, I was messing around dying or painting my house, and um, I'll show you for example. Here's our paintbrush. We go up here, paint that. We'll do region six, which is the actual wood, and dye it. And you can see over here that you get a bunch of uses out of that brush. So you don't just use one whole dye just to do that. So you can go around and you can paint all different um, pieces and parts of your house fairly quickly. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. We'll do the um we'll do the rest later. Ooh, can I do the bottom here too? Let's try that. Let's try the floor. Oh, we can paint the floor. Okay, how's that look? Alright. Has like a slight burnt look to it. And if you were to walk over to your dinosaur and hit him with a brush, there's there's Donna. And your um, pointer kind of turns into um, a paint a paintbrush, and you can just color on them. I don't know if you can see, but it is darkening. And if you hold down Shift, it's supposed to put more on there. So if we um, let's put it on a spot where we'll be able to see it. We'll give her darker arms. Her arms are pretty green. And I don't know if that's going to keep overlaying or not. It's it's very light gray. But you can see that the um, this here is dropping down the more I use it. So it is darkening that green up just a little bit. Not too much. But um, we'll have to check her out when we're done just to get an idea if it's uh, actually doing very much. Okay, so that's it for that. And um, we'll close. And Donna, do you look any different? Hmm. Donna, you don't look any different. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. <clears throat> hmm. Well, Donna will have to come back to you. I think I, I tried dying it on Izzy too, but I didn't see really any difference. Maybe they have to reload in or something with a new, new thing on them. I'm not sure. But that's the die. So that's pretty cool if you wanted to have your own custom building. Really, it's like an extra... You don't really need it to, in order to play the game. But what I wanted to do was use it in here to, um, let's see, we'll refill the paintbrush there. Um, I wanted to use it on here to to kind of dye these um, um, cabinets so I could tell, like, what was in them. So stone is kind of blackish, so we're going to dye that black. So you can see it, you can definitely tell. Or this one would be like a brown for wood, so that one wouldn't even need to be dyed. And then like the flint or the thatch is kind of a, a lighter um, green yellow color. So we do that for that. And, you know, maybe a light brown for this. Just so you kind of have a, like a quick visual like what's what. So you're not like, uh, which one's flint? You know, and flint would be like a nice orange brown color. Because you can't place um, any signs on these to really tell you what's what. I'm pretty sure you can't. But uh, that's pretty much what we need. It's just a quick visual to uh, to figure that out. Ooh, can I do my bed too? I can. Can I? Oh, it won't let me. Hmm. There's no... You can't do the bed. It brings it up, but it uh, doesn't let you do it. Interesting. Can I do the inside of the wall? Let's see here. Flip it. Oh, yeah. Mmm, nice. A little bit darker there. I might have to go all black here. Ooh. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy with this paintbrush. But, um... What I realized is, as I was running back and forth with that, um... That water... Um, to do this, with my water skin, I had to go back to the river and back every time I wanted to get five. First thing I realized is I need more water skins. Second thing I realized is I need some more defense on my house. Because, and get this, I went down to the water, went to fill it up, and a sarco jumped out of the water and started attacking me. And in doing so, um, all of my dinosaurs just ran over to kill it. 
even though they're like all on passive, as soon as I hit it with my weapon, they um they just can't charge all over here. So I had to go over and restation them all to where I wanted them. I'm gonna pick up that poop. And uh so yeah, I need something to um as a more of a defense. We're gonna throw that turd in here. Ooh, we got more fertilizer. So that's one thing I want to do, is start building some kind of wall or defense perimeter around the base to keep the dinosaurs out, so I don't have to worry about them. And right after that, I came over here to get water, and then there was um, a Dillo just walking up here, and I had to take him out too. So they're definitely starting to get more um, dangerous spawns coming up close to my house here, and I do need protection. So I think that might be what we um, start off our next episode with, is getting some kind of defense and some gates set up. So I'll need to um, definitely level up to get the points to um, to do that. As well as, um, let me just show you real quick. Let me get back over here with my paintbrush. Uh, let me just show you because I just hit level 25, which is another big step. But I'm completely out of points, so I can't really get into it too much yet. But let me just show you real quick what we got. Um, the smithy, um, which I, I purchased... And, um, you get the, um, metal tools, pick, hatchet, pike, which it replaces the spear. Um, you can get all the fur armor, which I think keeps you warmer. Um, the crossbow, which is way better than the, um, the regular bow. And some traps. We get a scorpion saddle, a carbonemi saddle, so we can ride our turtle around. And, um, a lot of stone, stone work. So there's a lot of definitely much needed upgrades, especially with the tools you can turn it into metal. Um, but I did get the smithy. Let me show you that real quick. Actually, I have to place it. I built one. I didn't place it yet. I want to place that. I think I want to place it... I want to place it over here. Where this is. Give me that. And we're going to demolish this. I'm going to have to make some more fire pits. But I want this to go here. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. As soon as I walk in the door, I'll be able to to use this station. So what this does is, in order to make any of those metal tools or anything, or, or any of the crossbows, or any of the future, like, really cool things, you have to drop the ingredients into this. Now, it's very reminiscent of Minecraft and their crafting table, where you had to, you had to put all your stuff in here to make it. Um, it's just kind of like things are getting a little more advanced, and you can't just make it on yourself anymore. You have to put it in the table. So, um, it's definitely a big step up having this table now, and that's going to go hand in hand with our forge, being able to make metal, because a lot of this stuff is going to need the metal. So that's pretty exciting. I'm really looking forward to, to getting into all those cool new, new, um, recipes and new engrams to, uh, definitely upgrade the level of survival here, and we'll be able to do a whole lot more. So I think with that, we're going to end it there. We upgraded the base a ton, added a whole new section. Got some cooking, got a smith table, got all new organization, and um, we're going to next time hopefully get some defense up and some walls and maybe start making some metal tools and such to, um, to definitely get it a little bit better here for, um, for ourselves on the Island of Delight. So with that, everyone, have a good night. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button below, and if you want to see more, um, daily gameplay with me, Robot Grim. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.